Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to advertise your Shopify store on Facebook in 2023. Of course, if you're looking to promote your Shopify store and reach a wider audience, Facebook advertising can be a powerful tool to drive the traffic, increase sales, and expand your customer base. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps uh, about to advertise your Shopify store on Facebook in 2023. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, Make sure to watch it from now till the end, so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial set. So here in my case, I'm using Brave. In your case, you can use any other browser or whatever preferred browser you have in your PC. You can go and open it up. And of course, if you haven't already created a Facebook Business Manager account by visiting the business.facebook, so go to the URL section, simply type business.facebook dot com and click on the enter button and of course this will take you right away here so as you can see let's get started with business tools from meta so login uh, with your facebook to use the meta business suits or business manager or you if you don't have like a facebook account you can log in with your instagram to use the meta business suit so if you don't have an account on both of them of course you can simply go and create an account so if you click on login and any of them as you can see you must go and log in into your account and if you don't have an account you can simply go and click on create an account and make sure to go and enter your credentials to create your account so of course once you logged in into your account as you can see welcome to creative hub bring your creative to life using the same editing tool here that you will find in ads manager what you should know when you uh, you mark mockups as ready to publish you or anyone else on your ad account can find them directly at the ad level within a company. Of course, mocks up made in the new creative hub are not available in the old creative hub and vice versa. Access your old mockups by switching back to the old creative hub at any time. So if you click on get started. So here we are setting up our business account on Facebook. Of course, for you, uh, you'll have to go and follow the prompts and set up your accounts and provide any necessary uh, details about your business. And of course, this account will serve as a centralized uh, hub for managing your Facebook advertising campaign. So if you don't have an account here, make sure to go and create your own or if you have it, just log in into it. Now, of course, you will have to go in and sell the Facebook pixel on your Shopify store. Or go and open a new tab and go to your Shopify store right away like or type shopify.com and if you have an account make sure to log in into it if you don't go and click on start free trial and follow the prompt to log in or to create your account for me i'm just going to log in into my account here i'm just going to this left panel apps and normally click on apps here and of course click on shopify app store and here of course we are in the shopify app store go to the search app guides and more and simply we are going to look for facebook pixel so facebook pixel and uh, oh, not pixel of course it's pixel and hit the enter button so once you're on the store right here make sure to, of course to avoid those ads then of course get into the facebook pixel of course there is no specific like app you can go and check all the apps by your own if you want to of course you can go and check for the free ones if you want or you can go with the pays ones if you want to so go and check for whatever app suits you of course you can go and enter whatever app read the features on it read if it's free or not and that will be it and of course uh, you'll have then to access your shopify admin panel and navigate to the online store section from there you can click on preferences and locate the facebook pixel option then enter your facebook pixel id or connect your facebook account to automatically generate the pixel code so as an example, let me just go to my Shopify store, go to online store, go to preferences. And of course, here you will have to do what I said. So depending on what you downloaded, uh, you will have to locate, of course, the Facebook pixel option for you. You'll normally find this here if you add it to your Shopify store from here. I didn't install anything for you. Go and do that. And of course, then you'll have to go and enter your Facebook pixel ID or connect to your Facebook account to automatically generate the pixel code. And then you'll have to go and copy the pixel code and paste it into your Shopify store settings to install the Facebook pixels correctly. And of course, and the, you'll have to go now back to the Facebook business manager. You'll have to go now and click 
on pages, of course. So before you'll have to go to your online store, as an example, and make sure to create a Facebook page for your Shopify store. So in the Facebook Business Manager, you will have to go and click on Pages and select the Create Page. Choose the appropriate page type for your Shopify store and fill the requirements information such as the store name, category, description, and customize your pages by adding a profile picture and a cover photo that represents your brand. And of course, you will have to design and engage in Facebook ads as an example. So using a design tool as an example of your choice, you can create a visually appealing and engaging ad graphics to your Shopify store. Make sure your ads are on brand and feature compiling or compelling products, images, or offers. So consider using attention grabbing head headlines and clear the call to action buttons to encourage the clicks and conversions. Then you'll have to go and set up your ad campaign. So in the Facebook business manager, you'll have to go and click on the ad manager. So go to this left panel, click on this three lines, then click on the ads manager. And of course, you'll have to go and select create as an example right here. So of course, for you, make sure to read all of those and make sure to read them all. As I said, then if you're accepting, make sure to click on I accept so you will not have any future uh, problems with them. So as you can see, you may be periodically asked to review these policies to maintain a the compilers, so it's not going to be a big problem. So there, then of course, you'll have to go and click on create, as I said. Once you click on create, you'll have to go and choose your marketing objects. So choose whatever suits you as an example. And such as like uh, awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, or app promotion or sales. Uh, so of course, for you, choose whatever suits you that aligns with your advertising goals. Then set your campaign, uh, campaign budget and targets options and add placements. Select the Shopify as destinations for your ad example. So here, let's just choose sales, click and continue as an example. And here we are, we'll have to go and fill all those informations here. So for you, go do that by your own. And of course, once you created your uh, ad sets and target audience, you will have, of course, to go and create now the uh, sets, uh, the uh, the ad sets and target audience. So within your ad campaign, you can create an ad sell to target specific audience and define your audience based on demographics, interests, behaviors, or custom audience lists. And of course, consider using the Facebook's audience inside to refine your target strategies and reach potential customers who are likely to be interested in your products. So as an example, I'm just going to put like some random stuff here. And of course, for you, make sure to fill those things accurately. Then of course, I'm just going to put in and next and of course make sure to go as you can see you'll have to go and fill the budgets and schedule the audience targeted and the placement and a lot of other stuff and you will normally be good to go and of course make sure to configure the ad format and add creative once you click on next you'll be able to do so and before finishing of course you'll you'll have to go and monitor on monitor and optimize your ads so regularly you'll have to monitor the performance of your facebook ads using the ads manager dashboard which is the dashboard you'll find this of course here by clicking on this account overview or the ads reporting you'll find everything there and of course uh, you'll have to go and look for like the reconversion rates and click uh, through uh, through rates and return on ad speed. So make sure to identify any underperforming ads and make data driven optimizations such as adjusting target targeting or finding ad creative or testing different ad variations. And make sure to retarget the website's visitors with dynamic ads and finally test and or iterate. So continuously test different ad variation, audience targeting options options and add placement to optimize the Facebook advertising strategies and make sure to pay attention to audience feedback, add engagement and conversation data to refine your campaign and drive better results over time. So if you reach this point of the video, congratulations. By following these steps, you can effectively advertise your Shopify store on Facebook and 2023. Remember to analyze your campaign performance and make data-driven optimization and regularly test new strategies to maximize the impact of your Facebook advertising efforts. Of course, good luck with your promoting your Shopify store and reaching your business goals. So leave a like down below if you like this video. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.